Hello everyone, how are you? How's it going? Hope you're doing good. Well, it's time. Feels like it's time to intervene. So today, let's talk about something really interesting and let's build something really amazing. Wow, are you guys ready for that? You know what? I really want to feel energy. Are you guys ready for that? Just say something. Okay, that's great. So today, let's focus on a project called Jester Genius. Wait, what did I say? Jester Detection. What, what does that mean? Any guess from anyone? Jester Detection. Anyone? It's your time. Just put it out. What does that mean? Feels like some of you are saying something. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can explain. It's all about making or showing hand gestures to the camera or the webcam and it will be predicting or it will be saying the action. For example, if I show something like this, it has to say OK. The hand gesture stands for OK. And if I show something like this, it has to say point. The hand gesture stands for point. And if I show something like this, it has to say fist. So this is how does it work actually. And you know what? If you really want, you can make your own hand gestures. For example, you can keep something like this and you can give a knee. It's all about training the software. Wait, what did I say? Training the software. Has anyone heard this word before? Training the software or teaching the software? Anyone? Exactly. This is what is machine learning stands for, right? That will be learning. Anyway, I'm going to show you how does this work actually. So have a look. And I forgot to add one thing. He will be using Scratch software. Wow, did you hear that? Scratch software. That sounds a little bit interesting, right? Anyway, have a look. Well, I hope you can see the screen and over there you can see the scratch window, right? Let me maximize it. So, where is that option? Can anyone help me out? Yeah, there is an option to maximize this stage, right? Yeah, it's over there. I got it. So, just clicking on this option. And here we go. There you can see the webcam, right? And here I'm going to show my hand like this. And you can see some colorful dots over there, right? Yeah, that's pretty amazing. It's exactly pointing my fingers. Okay, now here I'm going to show some actions like... Okay, how about this one? This is what is fist, right? And here I'm going to press the button called space and let's figure it out what would happen. Just look at the screen. Just look at the top of the stage and here we go. Wow. Did you see that? It says fist, right? That's pretty amazing. Now let me try something else like this. And we all know this is what is point, right? And here I'm going to press the space bar again. And it has to say point. And let's figure it out. Wow, it's working perfectly, right? Now let's try something else. Okay, what about this one? We all know this is what it stands for. Okay, just And here we go. Wow, that's pretty something, right? What do you guys think? So this, how does it work actually? And that was just something, right? What do you guys think? Yeah, that's pretty amazing, I guess. So same as is, you can add your own hand gestures and just give a name. I'm going to show you that. So it's time to build this one. Are you guys ready for that? I told you I just want to feel energy. Are you guys ready for that? Okay, so first of all, let's talk about what are the things that we will be learning today. So here I'm going to show you my screen and let's figure it out. Well, I hope you can see the screen and these are the things that we will be learning today. Have a look. I told you today I'll be making something really amazing, right? And that is what is this one. I mean the project. Wait, what is the project name? Exalid. Just your genius. We'll be making this project and trust me, this is going to be so easy. Because he will be using that Scratch software through MLK. You all are familiar with that software, right? MLK, Machine Learning for Kids. I'm going to let you know in detail. And we will be learning image recognition. Wait, has anyone heard this word before? Image recognition. What does that mean? Anyone? It's your time. Just spit it out. Image recognition. What does that mean? Feels like some of you are saying something. Okay, just keep in mind. In a simply we could say like, it's all about identifying whatever inside an image. It could be object, place, text, whatever. So that's all about image recognition. Okay, let's go with an example. Has anyone used Google Lens or online shopping platforms such as Amazon, Flipkart? Anyone? Though you can see this option, right? It's all about if you really wanted to purchase something, all you need to do is just take a picture of the product and just upload to the software or the website. And it will be showing a lot of similar products, right? So this is one of the best examples for image recognition. Just keep in mind, it's all about identifying whatever inside an image. And he'll be using the same concept because he will be showing our hand to the webcam, right? So it will be identifying whatever inside the image. So this is how does it work actually. And we'll be focusing on image data collection. Of course, here we need to train the software. I'm going to let you know in detail. And machine learning stages, of course, he will be training the software and we'll be testing and we'll be making the product. I mean the project. So this is all about the stages. I'm going to let you know in detail. And pre-trained models. Actually, he will be using a trained project. So things would be easy. All you need to do is just add a little bit of it. And video streaming. It's all about the project that I'm going to show you. And it's time to get it done the project. So I want you to open Google and just search machine learning for kids. Anyway, I'm going to show you that. Just look at the screen. Well, I hope you can see the screen. Now I want you to search machine learning for kids. 
because I told you we'll be using the Scratch software through this one. You all are familiar with this one, right? Machine learning for kids. Oh, we can do a lot of machine learning projects. So here we go. And I wanted to click the first one, exactly the first one. Well, then we'll be having a page like this. From here, I wanted to click the option called Git Starter. Did you see that? Over there, you can see blue color button, right? Just click on it. And then from here, let's try without registering. And if you really want, you can create an account over there. It's up to you. Anyway, let me try without registering. So here, I'm going to click this option, the third one. And it's loading a little bit. Anyway, here, I told you we'll be using the pre-trained project, right? So for that, here, we need to copy the template. So instead of add new project, I want you to click this option. So this is really important. Everyone has to click on this option. Copy template. Just click on it. Wow, what just happened? We were redirected to another page, right? And just scroll down from here. I want you to select the option called hand gestures. Did you see that? So just click on the option called import. And from here, you'll be having options something like this, right? You can select any of the option. Anyway, let me go with store in the cloud. And let's wait a little bit. Wow, something has been going on, right? Just look at that, it's loading. Wow, look at that, over there you can see a project name, right? So I wanted to click this one, everyone has to do it. And then we'll be redirected to another page where we can see train, learn and test and make. First of all, I wanted to click the option called train because I told you it's all about the steps in machine learning. First of all, we need to train the software, right? So just click on the option called train and it's loading a little bit. Well, from here, we need to make boxes or an assembly way we could say like, let's make some buckets. Just click on the add new label and something has been pop up here. You need to give the name, right? So in this project, we'll be focusing on three gestures actually. Yeah, we'll be focusing on three hand gestures. It's all about point, fist and OK. And I told you, if you really want, you can add as much as you can. It's up to you. First of all, you need to know the concept. So let's focus on three gestures. So for that. First one is around OK. And let's add the second one that is what is fist. And let's add the third one that is what is point. That's pretty cool. And I told you if you really want you can add as much you can. Now the thing is we need to train the software right which means here we need to fill the data. If I show OK. So what about the hand gesture for OK? It's all about like this, right? Yeah, if I show something like this, it has to say OK. So here we need to fill the data. So no need to worry about it. I'm going to show you. Just click on the option called back to project. Everyone has to do it. And over there, you can see an option called make, right? Just click on it. And it's loading. From here, I want you to select the option called scratch 3. Just click on this option. And let's wait a little bit. Though you can see an option called straight into scratch. Everyone has to click on it. And it's loading. Wow, and we'll be having this scratch window. This is how does it look like, right? And I told you from this software, we'll be collecting the data and we'll be training the machine learning for kids software. So for that, I wanted to click the option called project templates because I told you he'll be using the pre-trained project, right? Just scroll down and there we can see an option called the hand gestures. Did you see that? Just click on it. Wow, what just happened? Over there, you can see the code and something for the pre-trained project. That is what is hand gestures. And here we need to add a little bit. This is really important because we're going to collect the data right now. So just scroll down. Over there you can see an option called Define Store Training Data. Did you see that? Yeah, let me maximize a little bit. Over there you can see an option called Store Training Data. Define Store Training Data. If you couldn't see this, just make sure you are in the main sprite. I mean, you have selected the main sprite or the sprite list. And over there you can see this option. Here we need to add a little bit. So for that, just scroll down. And over there you can see an option called hand gestures, right? Just click on it. And I want you to drag the option called this one, exactly the sixth one. So don't be confused. I want you to drag this option, the sixth one. That's really important. Just drop it over here. That's pretty cool. And we need to fill a little bit inside. So no need to worry. It's over there actually. Over there you can see something like wrist X. So just look around and though you can see the same name block. So I want you to drag exactly like this. And I wanted to do the same. Here you can see wrist Y. So I wanted to, I wanted to drag the wrist Y option over here. Same as this. Everyone has to just get it done. It's your time. Here you can see thumb one X. So I wanted to drag exactly the same. Just keep in mind the name. It's all about the name. So what about here? It has to be 
Y, right? Thumb Y. So, yeah, this one. Everyone has to do it. And this is all about thumb 2X. And here we go. And this one is thumb 2Y. Yeah, here we go. So, it's your time. Everyone has to do the same. And it says index 1X. So, let me scroll down. And here it is. And index 1y this one right so let me scroll it let me add inside and this is all about index 2x just drag it like this and this is all about index 2y and make sure you need to add this just in the last in the end so that is really important I wanted to drag exactly like this that's pretty cool. Now the thing is, I told you the concept right now, we're gonna collect the data. If I show something like this, there would be some data actually, and we need to collect the data and we need to upload in the machine learning software where we have created some boxes, right? I told you the bucket, we need to fill the data inside that bucket. So for that, look what I'm gonna do. Just click on the option called events, everyone has to do it. And just drag this option over here. When space key pressed, and let's change the space key into F. So first of all, let's collect data for the fist. So it would be nice if you are giving the first letter of the name. So here I'm going to add F. So where is that? Yeah, here I got it. So whenever I press the button called F from the keyboard, whatever below will start to work, right? So I told you whenever I press the F, it has to collect the data for fist. This is what fist would look like, right? Now I want you to click the option called the variables. And just scroll down a little bit and over there you can see an option called set just to zero i wanted to drag exactly like this and just drop it over here that's pretty cool and inside i wanted to drag something from this just click on the hand gestures again and here i wanted to fit this one because i told you the concept right whenever i press the button called f i want to get the data for fist so i wanted to drag exactly this option over here and we need to get the training data, right? So for that, just click on the option called My Blocks. Everyone has to do it. And just scroll down, they will be having an option called Capturing Data. Did you see that? The second one, exactly the second one. So I wanted to drop it over here. That's pretty cool. Now, same as here, we need to set two more because here we have added three gestures, right? Yeah, here we have added three gestures. That is what is Fist, Point, and OK. For that, easy, right? Either you can just duplicate this one just drop it somewhere else and you need to edit a little bit so let's focus on ok right now so i wanted to give o so whenever i press the button called o whatever below will start to work and here also you need to change a little bit instead of fist you need to add ok because we need to get the training data from ok and what about the last one this is all about p right i mean point so just click on this one just change the letter that is what is P which means whenever I click the button called P I need to get the data from the point gesture so just drop it over here and this one that's pretty cool this is all about that we wanted to do right now now the thing is I wanted to click the green flag and let's figure it out and wait hold on if you really want to see the data I mean the numbers you can do these things just click on the variables and you can tick any of this then over this stage you can see the numbers or the data actually so here I'm gonna click the option called thumb 1x and thumb 1y then we'll be able to see the values I mean the data actually well look at the stage over there you can see some numbers right anyway let's maximize the screen now just click on the option called green flag and here we go well, the webcam turned on, right? I told you it's a pre-trained project. So there is a code for turn on the webcam and something. Now, all you need to do, just show your hand like this. Okay, and what is going on? Wow, look at that. Although you can see some dots, right? The dots are indicating each the points. I mean, the joints. Wow, that's pretty amazing. And look at the value. It, it has been changing, right? It has been changing a little bit. And all you need to do, just focus on fish data. First of all, let's get some data for the fist. So this is how does it fist would look like. Now I want you to hold your hand like this, exactly like this. And then this one is really important. I want you to click the button called F. 
wait, why did I want to click the button exactly F? Any guess from anyone? Because we did coding like that, right? If you press the button called F, you'll be getting the training data for Fist. Now I want you to click the button called F. Everyone has to do it. And over at the top, you can see Guster Fist. Did you see that? You need to do the same for at least five times. Two. And change the position a little bit. Just click on the F again. I told you minimum five should be though. And here I'm going to click again. And the numbers, I mean the training data will be stored over there. I'm going to show you that. So try as much you can. If you really want, you can add as much you can. Okay, now again. That's pretty cool. And I told you just change the position a little bit, right? That's pretty cool. This is all about training the software, right? This is what is exactly machine learning stands for. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Okay, that's enough. Okay, that's enough for the fist just so. We have collected some data for the fist. Now let's focus on point. So you know this is how does it look like, right? So all I need to do is just point something like this. And just click on the button called, I'm confused, which one? Exactly, the P, right? Because we did coding like that. So just click on the option called P. And over there you can see just your point at the top. Did you see that? And I told you minimum 5 should be there. Just click on it again. Just change the position a little bit. It's your time. Everyone has to do this thing. Okay. Just look at the dots. It's exactly pointing, right? Well, that's fine here. I have added more than five. Now let's focus on OK. So this is how does it OK would look like. So you know what to do, right? I want you to click the option called O. Then it will be collecting the data for OK. I told you minimum five should be there. It would be nice if you're adding as much you can. Just change the position a little bit. Every time you have to click the button, then only it will be storing the data actually. So that's really important. Now that's enough. Feels like I have collected enough data for training the software. Now I want you to click the machine learning for kids software again. And make sure do not close this window. This is really important because we will be using this one again. So just open machine learning for kids that we did before. And just click on the option called back to project. And just click on the option called train and have a look. It's loading. Wow, did you see that? Did you see that? Although you can see a lot of data, right? So this is all about the data that we have collected just now. That's pretty amazing, right? It's automatically added over here. So this is all about the training data. Now we need to test it. So for that, just click on the back to project again. And the second one, learn and test. I wanted to click this option. And it's loading, we need to wait a little bit. Well, over there you can see you have collected nine examples for OK, 12 for fist, and nine for point. And I told you, if you really want, you can add as much you can. That would be good, I guess. And let's scroll down. Over there you can see an option called train new machine learning model. So just click on this one. And we need to wait a little bit. It will be training according to our data. Let's wait a little bit. OK, it's ready to go now. Just scroll down over there you can see. Yeah, it's ready to go now. Now just click on the back to project again. And now I want you to open the scratch window that we used just before. So just open the scratch window. And now we need to add a little bit more. Just scroll down. And over there you can see an option called define recognize gister. Did you see that? Did you see that? Over there you can see something like this, right? So here we have trained the software and it has to predict or it has to recognize the gister actually. For that I want you to drag something from the hand gisters, but hold on. But before that, I wanted to untick these two because we collected the data, right? So untick these two. 
and just click on the option called hand gestures and this one is really important i want you to drag this one exactly the first one over here you can see in the last it says the label right so i want you to select i want you to make sure the block that says label in the end and just drop it over here inside this cell like this pretty cool now i want you to drag each one over here you can see wrist x which means you need to drag exactly this one over here same as is get it done for the others here it's all about wrist y so yeah here we go and thumb one you need to make sure exactly the same name thumb one y it's your time everyone has to do it And the next one, index one and index one y and index two x and the last one is around index two y, right? And I told you this one is really important. Make sure you have added the option called the label at the end. I mean the block that says label at the end. This is really important well now we are ready to go so you guys are ready for that right so just maximize the screen and just show a gesture so here i'm gonna show something like this and you know the hand gesture right it's all about the fist and the project i mean the scratch has to say this is what is fist but i can't see anything over there. oh i just forgot to say that you need to press the button called the space so i wanted to click the space bar button and here we go wow did you see that look at the top what it says it says fist right so that's perfectly matching now let me try something like this and we all know this is all about the point right and here we go here i'm gonna press the button called space wow look at that it's perfectly correct right now let me try something like this and what about this one you know it yeah this is all about okay now here we go wow it's working perfectly right what about you guys did you get the same it's your time everyone has to test it so this is all about the project actually and I told you if you really want you can add a your own justice and you can give any name. So that's all for today. Let's wind up today's session. And so let's talk about what are the things that we learned today. So in the beginning we talked about machine learning, right? I told you it's all about the word training or teaching a computer to learn things on its own. You know it, right? And we talked about image recognition. I told you just keep in mind it's all about identifying whatever inside an image. It could be anything like object, place, whatever inside the image. And I told you one example, right? That Google Lens, that's the best example for image recognition. And we went to the software called Machine Learning for Kids. And we trained the software by using the scratch. And these are all other things that we learned today. Hope we had fun. So that's all for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.